when building an artificial intelligence to automate a certain task, should you train them to replicate a human action or to choose the best decision, the optimal decision? In this video, I will show you how to choose the right approach for your application. Hi there, I'm Kelly Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. In this one, I will discuss this trade-off, you know, how to make a decision on this, on this scenario, where you have to decide if you should train an AI to replicate, um, to replicate a human decision or a human process, or to decide what is the best, the optimal set of actions to execute. So should the AI follow the human, or should the AI follow its own intuition, let's say, or its own KPIs to optimize uh, in the end. And this trade-off is quite common on applications where you are automating a manual task or a task that is being performed today by a human, or where you are boosting the performance of a certain human by accelerating certain parts of a given task. For example, when you're on tasks that involve making decisions on priorities or on filtering, um, this is quite relevant. For example, let's say you are building a sales funnel where you know, a salesman is calling, uh, is contacting certain leads, and basically they, dec they decide which ones are the most worth it to follow up. Um, and this process is manual. Okay, choosing the leads they will follow up on uh, it's a manual process, you know, and here we need to decide, you know, should we prioritize the leads that the human as a whole is prioritizing, or should we try to find, you know, what is expected customer lifetime value of each lead so we can, you know, get beyond the human and tackle the entire lead, the entire lead base in, a, in our in overall new way. Then, by the way, we have a PDF in the description with some bonus content where we have the checklist so you can understand for your scenario what is the best uh, approach, okay? Let's go with the deep, with deep dive into, into this process, okay? So let's go with the first approach, okay? And the first approach, approach is replicating the agent, replicating the human uh, decisions, okay? And in this case, uh, we are basically going from the current scenario, okay? And based on the current scenario, we, can, we want to go straight to the human decision, okay? Let's analyze what are the advantages and the disadvantages of each of, of this approach. Okay, so let's start with the pros of this approach. Okay, so the, the main, the, the first advantage is that it goes straight to decisions. Okay, so it's it's a very simple approach. You just, you know, given the current scenario, given the current data, given where you are, you want to predict what is the human action you will have executed if exposed to this task. So it's a simple one-step task, okay? So this is the first the first advantage. It's, it's very easy to do. And the second advantage is adoption, okay? Basically, since you're following the human intuition, once they are you know, uh, embracing this AI, they won't get many conflicts with their way of seeing things, okay? With their ways of thinking about the problem because it's following their kind of intuition, their kind of approach to handling this task, okay? So this is the second advantage. The, th the third advantage is that um, we are gaining experience from all the prior knowledge of the human, which is invaluable in many ways. So um, I will say here, this is um, a certain advantage, okay? The prior, the prior knowledge we are building on, on as a base, as a foundation, for our model. So if the human already understood that we are not selling well to a certain industry, the human will already discard those cases. Um, the opposite will be, you know, the AI will need to understand what is expected customer lifetime value of these um, segments, so it can understand that it's too low or that we don't have enough conversions or whatever. So it's starting from scratch. While if you are training from a human, you know, we are already learning all of these um, Know, long years of experience that this human accumulated on executing this task. So let, let's go for the cons, okay? For the disadvantages of this approach. The first limitation is that it's limited, um, the performance is limited by the human, okay? So I will say limited performance. What do I mean by limited performance? If you are replicating the human, you will be accumulating the errors of the human plus the errors of AI. So in the best case scenario, if you are as good as a human, so if you replicate a human in a perfect way, 
you will be as good as a human, but you will never be better than the human. You will accumulate the two types of errors. The, the error from the human plus the error from the AI. So, you know, AI will always have an error. It won't replicate exactly the human. So you will be, you will end up with a lower performance and maybe you will make value by scaling up the operation. Not so much by being better on this task, but by scaling up the operations, okay? But this is a limitation uh, from my point of view. Um, the second limitation is that this prior knowledge that I mentioned here can actually be bias or misconceptions, um, okay? And humans have a lot of biases and have accumulated a lot of biases um, through human history. And although human experience can be valuable, we don't have a very good intuition on numbers and probabilities, okay? So we tend to incur in some biases and replicating a human will just, you know, maximize these distortions of um, of the human biases and misconceptions that your individual agent may have, okay? So the third one is that I will say uh, a human in general, humans in general focus on a niche where they are good. That's a very specific segment where they are good. So maybe let's say on this sales funnel uh, scenario, this salesman or your salesman is quite good on tackling, you know, uh, clients on this specific industry with this kind of size when they are talking with the head of marketing, but nothing else. So they just prioritize those because those are the cases where he's good at, not necessarily because those are where the company will make the most value, okay? So you are over specializing on the areas where the human is good at, okay? And the last limitation is that it needs uh, a, a lot of user feedback and sometimes you don't have that feedback. Sometimes human feedback is not structured, so you will start to need, you will need to start collecting this kind of feedback and that will take time. So you have limited data in the end um, with this approach. So limit data is, um, is the last misadvantage of this slide. Okay, so let's go with the opposite um, with the opposite train, which will be uh, training the AI to decide the best course of action, the best uh, decisions, uh, the best outcomes uh, for for this scenario. So instead of pre giving the scenario predicting the human decision, we will train an AI that, given the scenario, predicts the expected outcome. expected outcome and given the expected outcomes on all of the potential decisions you make you will choose you will make decisions okay decisions that you expect to have the maximum the optimal performance on those decisions okay and the advantages and disadvantages of this approach are the exact opposite of the ones that i just discussed okay so um you kind of know at this point if in your scenario you should use one approach or the other. So in this case, the, the pros are cons, okay? Um, so by negating them, of course. So this approach is much more complex, right? So it's while the human approach was simple, in this case it's more complex because we have two steps, okay? Instead of, of one, we have to predict the expected outcome and then from the expected outcome we have to make decisions. The second one, so while it was while we expected to have good adoption and acceptability by replicating the human, here we'll have some friction, okay? Because the human will be contradicted on the way he thinks about these problems. Okay, and while before we you know we have we accumulated a lot of prior knowledge, now we are learning from scratch. Okay? Same way. Now uh, the cons of the prior of the previous approach are the pros of the current approach, so are the advantages. While in the in the previous case um, we had limited performance or our, our performance was capped by the human performance, this kind of model can go beyond human performance. So if you have tasks where the error rate is too high and you're not making value by scaling them up but by minimizing minimizing mistakes, this could be the best approach to follow. So instead of having limited performance, uh, you should expect overall a higher, a higher performance on this kind of approach. Again, while in the previous approach you have human biases, you will have uh, less of those biases, okay? Because you are predicting um, the best out, the expected outcome, and then from all outcomes you are making decisions, unbiased decisions. But AI models can also accumulate other sorts of 
the of of biases and misconceptions okay but in general you should expect less biases by following uh, this approach again while humans tend to over specialize and um, on the areas where they are good even of, if overall it doesn't work for the company um ai's trained to predict the overall outcomes should be able to have a good idea of the unexpected outcome across horizontally across all cases so i will say this approach is more universal okay or horizontal okay so you will be optimizing beyond the capacity of a human that tends to over specialize in a field you know i am over specializing ai you are over specializing your industry in your area humans tend to over specialize on the kind of things they are good at okay ais tend to be good on as many things as possible horizontally okay so that's the advantage of the ai and while in the previous case we have limited data on this case we have a much larger amount of data because we are not limited by the human feedback we are limited by how much data overall you have in total so in this case we have more data okay and of course here i just presented you a case with a sales funnel in one case we are predict you are this we are choosing we are following the strategy of the salesman in the other case we are predicting a proxy kpi such as the customer lifetime value conversion rates etc and then choosing the approach and we show you what is you know the trade-off here in, in each one of these cases let me think about other examples for example let's say you are building applications for a real estate investor okay and you want to you know decide which uh, which properties you should buy instead of for example the first approach following the human will be given all the listings and predicting which ones will the the investor bid on so on which one he will try to which ones will uh, the investor try to buy but again uh, while we are understanding already what areas the investor consider uh, are good and bad and we don't need to learn that from scratch or what kind of properties work or not uh, we are over specializing so maybe we are following an investor that is good but that is missing a lot of opportunities on an area that he doesn't understand and the ai could understand better and you know if we go with ai maybe we can tackle a larger market than if we do it uh, from scratch in this case okay um but of course we will need to understand the expected outcome the expected yield the expected uh, profitability of each one the expected roi uh, the expected return on investment on each one of of the of the of these options another example on quality assurance uh, should we predict which products on the manufacturing line uh, the human will inspect because he saw some failures or should we train an ai to detect failures based on lack of compliance on another test you did or on returns uh, from that product um, another application for example on job applications for example should we predict which candidates will we hire based on our prior hires in that case we will accumulate uh, misconceptions and biases we will accumulate uh, so we will have limited data because from all the candidates we only chose one or two right so we will have much more much more limited data or should we predict for example um productivity of of each candidate by using a side kpi such as internal productivity indicator such as how well those the companies that they follow that they work on in the past grew during those times i don't know so which approach is the best one of course it's up to discussion but you now have the pros and cons of each one um, of these approaches so you can think about them in your actual application what is my suggestion okay so putting those all of these things aside um, so whenever i face this discussion of you know if should if i should follow or not a human or take on the base decision from scratch i always ask myself how am i integrating the ai in the business activity okay for example if i am putting the ai with a human in the loop where the human will will have to um use the predictions to actually make actions so when we are not fully automating end-to-end -end application then i prefer to replicate human um, decisions in general because i will face less um less friction i will face a higher acceptability i will have a higher acceptability because the predictions will make sense for the human so as a first approach it's good to replicate human and then once the human is already um, engaged with ai 
you start changing the predictions by the ones that you actually believe are more optimal, even if those follow in a, le in a lower degree the human. But first, you create this adoption. I have this video on why people reject AI models. You have, you have the link um, above uh, in case you want to deep dive into these kind of uh, concerns. But it's a major risk. So if I, if I feel that I will have some acceptability and adoption risk, I follow the human as a first approach. If you are, you know, automating the AI end to end, then you should, ch and you, you know, you, su you should follow the best, the, the, the optimal outcome, regardless of the hu of the past human performance. You should expect um, a higher performance on, on this scenario. So when when you are training AIs to perform the actions end to end, you can discard human actions, not necessarily, but it's a it's a good uh, rule of thumb. When you will have a human in the loop and that human has been executed this task for some time, the lowest risk uh, choice is to follow the human first and then try to introduce the additional outcomes. Okay? Remember, there is bonus content on the description below. Hope to, you like this video. Remember to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye bye.